Good morning or afternoons, my little ones. It's wonderful to have you back with me again, whatever time of day you're able to join me. I just wanna say how much I appreciate your company. I miss all of you so very much. Sorry, my hair was sticking. And it is amazing to see you. I can see you through the screen. Hello, my lovelies. Wonderful to see you again. All right, today we are reading a really funny, awesome book to go with our zoo unit. So that's all about different kinds of animals. So today I am going to be reading you Giraffes Can't Dance, but it sure looks like that one can. All right, let's see if giraffes can or cannot dance. Oh, look at those dancing monkeys, I love it. Oh, look at the beautiful pictures. It's like we're in Africa with all of these wild, wonderful animals. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Oh, look at those beautiful colors. Now, every year in Africa, they held the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Jungle dance. I miss dancing with you guys. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Poor Gerald. Look at all those animals getting ready for their jungle dance. The water hogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Oh, look, they're dipping each other. Wow, that is some pretty fancy dancing. The chimps all did a cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon <laughs> began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Is that a nice thing to say to Gerald? Poor little guy, he just wants to be involved in the fun. Not nice. Oh, look at his little face. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Poor Gerald. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. What wonderful advice. Can you hear the music all around you? Especially with crickets. 
With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. What is happening to Gerald? Oh, is he starting to learn how to dance? Yes, he is. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Wow. Look at Gerald go. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Look at him go. Oh, we'll wait for the food. That's kitty cat food going off in the background. Sorry about that. Welcome to being at home. <laughs> how did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. He doesn't want to give away a secret. They were so mean to him before, but maybe he will. Let's see. Do you think he will? Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And that is the book, Giraffes Can't Dance, but Gerald proved them that they sure can. So here's what I would like you to do today. Find a song that moves you, that you love, and just let go and do the Gerald dance. And have a wonderful rest of your day. I send all of you much love. I miss you.